Oh, I hated this one so much. This this irks me more than anything. Hi, I'm Jack Miller from season nine of Married at First Sight. Oh my god. Hi, Baba. Finn? Finn. Hi, baby. Today I'm recapping the biggest moments of week five of Maths 2023 with Yahoo Lifestyle. Unfortunately, Bronte couldn't be here. She goes through a lot more in that at that time of the month. I'm not a voice for and endometriosis or a, a woman's biological functions, but um, she's in a lot of pain and gets very emotional and crying and... Um, and um... Sorry. You're welcome. It's just really hard to see her like that. Okay. Okay, well... I'm not getting a sense that you're being real with us. Johnny boy, just lay in the heat at the end. I simply don't understand why he brought that all up. Why does he seem so hurt? I understand the part when he's like, it's really hard to see her like that, but it kind of looks like he's putting on a show. So it's crazy how the music sets the mood of what everyone's thinking in the room. I guess that makes sense as well because they can't show everyone's reaction and whatnot or what it means. So if they set the... So the music up is just kind of like... Anyway, I like to hope that he is actually sympathetic towards Bronte in that that scenario. As to his reaction, maybe he hasn't dealt with it before, so he's a little bit, I don't know, doing his thing and that reaction. But honestly, I just think that overall, there is some sort of redemption he's trying to pull for himself. Whether that is for cameras or whether that's what he thinks he needs to do to repair himself as a person. I hope it's himself as a person, but it doesn't seem as genuine uh, to all of us viewers. This is ultimately my decision, but this this isn't you know just about looks. You know, it is about intelligence. It is about trying. There's humour. So I think from from all of that side, Maybe you do deserve to be last. Yeah. Why is she agreeing? Look, I... It's my decision. There's no way I'm going to let you be last one. You can go second last. They put me second last. That was really uncomfortable. I didn't like that at all. It was horrible. Let's unpack this. Hugo, Hugo, Hugo. I know that like there's levels of, she hasn't, she hasn't been no angel and whatnot, but like, it seems like he's trying to really, I don't know, dig a nail in a coffin there and just like, that's how I see that. It's like a punishment. I know some people are like, I know you can have a discussion and you know, maybe there's a level of attractiveness that you don't find and whatnot, but there's also a level of like, have the discussion about you should already know. You should already know in a way of like how you do it. At the end of the day, that challenge for me was a little bit redundant because it's like, it's irrelevant. Mum did say. Oh, did she? That the, the affection and the wanting the cuddles and wanting the kisses and the holding the hands. Yes. Could be, and there's no nice way to say this. No, there's not could be insecurity. I'm not asking for a hundred, I'm asking for like one. It's not that much. You know what it's I mean? It's not just one, but affection to me is showing. I literally agreed with I, you, I've, one bit of affection a I, day. I've, That's the agreement we had. So it is just one. No, it's not. Agree. No, I have been giving you kisses. I never well, said. Well, you're saying that your mum said it and you seem to believe everything your mum says. Yeah, and so do you. Yeah, because my mum's a good person. Oh, I hated this one so much. This this irks me more than anything. Okay, firstly, give the girl a cuddle. When someone is feeling down, you show affection, you show attention. If you feel a little bit uncomfortable in yourself to do that, that is your own problem and not hers. That's my thing. I'm gonna put that at the start. Don't agree with what she said about like, she definitely insinuated that her mum's a good person. That can be a double-edged sword. That's like, I, that was, that was a dig. But I understand when you're in a heated argument, people start to get a bit nasty and that's obviously how she is. His mum's getting the one side, right? Just the one sided part of what he's saying. And then she's come around and said like, oh, maybe she's insecure, blah, blah, blah. Then he's taken insecure, put it in his little loaded gun and boom, 
just ran with it. Like it was a bullet. You, know, you should take advice from your parents for sure, but maybe he should have approached that saying, <laughs> he should have just given her a hug, but I don't know. There's a different way to go about that. Hugo, tell the truth now, please. Don't make me go there. I don't want to be that chick. Can we just say Evelyn seriously woke up and chose violence for good reason, but she did. Absolutely go there then. Oh. Yeah, Johnny boy. Stand her. <laughs> I, um... And you called her a see you next Tuesday. Ooh. Oh, no, he didn't. Calling people names is totally unacceptable and disrespectful. Tell them, Johnny. I don't think I called you a see you next Tuesday at all. I don't want to continue to grill you. I just want you to be honest to Taylor. Okay. Was that, that was it? Or? I'm here, you can talk to me. Well, that was it or? I feel sick. Oh, it's pretty simple. I think Johnny said it there. You just don't call people names. Let's start there. This butt dial called, like caused chaos, didn't it? I'm like what didn't get? up with this butt doll. My gosh, like they just really went to town. As to whether it was a butt doll or whether that didn't really happen, because I know there's a bit of controversy or a bit of, uh, you know, he said, she said kind of stuff going on. Hugo's reaction in that, <laughs> it's just like deer in headlights. And then at the end when he goes, oh, is that it? <laughs> Oh, uh, mate, you are a piece of work. Regardless of whether there was a butt dial or not, it would have come back around. My advice to absolutely everyone, there is a thing called an apology. You utilize this, because we are all taught it when we are very young. You say, I am sorry, and you try and understand what you did to make them feel that way. In his case, it's pretty obvious. You don't call someone at see you next Tuesday. That's a really obvious one. I just want you to tell the truth and say that you're not into Sandy. That's not true though. I am into Sandy. I love Sandy. I've got you like, love Sandy? Like, like I, lo I love her as a person, absolutely 100%. I have told her many You don't times. slander someone behind someone's back if you love them, Dan. I didn't slander Sandy. And that's where the disconnect is that that Evelyn's picking up on. Yeah. Is that these are words that are coming out. Yes. I like her. She means yeah. everything to me. Well, he said and yet all his actions. Are say like, otherwise. I say what I mean. You what, don't I, what, really, what, I, what I'm feeling. No. Absolutely, I do. It's it's very monologue, to be honest. Well, listen. I, okay. I think we're done with this conversation. Mhm. Mm Thank you. For the for your openness and honesty, mm -hmm. um, but and thank I you don't... for your not open oh, and honesty. On. Come on, Evelyn. Oh, Evelyn, violence loves it. She chooses it. She does call out some shit. I'll give her that. <laughs> I lost everything for this guy when he said the words beast mode. Um, I don't think he's giving Sandy a chance. I think there's a lot of mistakes that he's made. He was obviously showing all the photos to all the boys and whatnot. Which you just don't do. Let's not, let's not brag about that stuff like that. I think that he thinks what he's saying is correct. But I don't think his actions show that. But I think he genuinely believes his own words. Oh, he's a salesman. You can see it. He knows how to use his words. He tunnel vision as to how he sees things. And nothing else really computes past that. I reckon this week he'll say stay. She'll say leave. And then... They'll go the following week because something else will happen. That's my prediction. That's my crystal ball.